In this video, I will be reviewing the Denja vegetable cleaver with the 9CR18 moth core material. Hello guys, I'm Chef Bonko and I used to work in a Japanese restaurant. Make sure to subscribe to know more about cooking and knives. Before we start with the review, I want to go over some disclosures. The Denja vegetable cleaver TM9080 was gifted to me by Denja. However, no one is paying me to make this video or to include their knife in a video. No one will get a chance to preview my footage or thoughts before the video goes up on YouTube. If this video helps you decide, please give this video a thumbs up since that will help the channel a lot. Now with the disclosures away, let's start with the review of the Danja vegetable cleaver. The vegetable cleaver from Denja comes in a hard cardboard box. The knife in the box is also well protected. The first thing you notice is that the stickers are not on the blade itself but on a plastic blade cover. Which is a brilliant idea since I hate removing stickers on the blade. The knife edge is also well protected with tip guards and rubber in the middle. The Denja vegetable cleaver comes with a mirror finish and vertical scratch patterns. They also have added a sanding line to help food to stick less on the blade. If you look closely, they also have a slightly visible cladding line. The knife comes with a comfortable wooden handle. The knife rockwell hardness is specified with a rockwell of 58 to 60, but it feels more like 58. Usually, you can get away with 3 to 4 months before needing a redstone touch up if you regularly hone your knife with a honing rod. However, the heavier cleaver style knife with a delicate thin edge and low factory angle of 15 degrees impacts the knife edge retention. Therefore, the edge retention out of the box is closer to 2 to 3 months. In return, you get a sharper out of the box performance. The manufacturer Denja is making its knives with three different steel types. In short, they are reducing the manufacturing cost without sacrificing the quality. The 9CR18 MOF has excellent rust and corrosion resistant properties and the added cladding adds durability. It is inadvisable to slice through frozen food, bones, cheese, hard bread or force your way through other tougher food like chocolate or nuts since that can cause chipping. Since Denja uses three different steel types, they managed to reduce labor costs and added extra durability. The cladding is known as Sanmai, where they added two softer stainless steel to protect the harder middle core. It ensures that the middle core can be heat treated to a higher rock well without sacrificing durability or becoming brittle. The top part is entirely made from softer stainless steel. It makes the knife rigid and very durable. You can use the knife to tenderize meat or crush garlic without worrying about stress fractures. The blade profile is what you would expect from a cleaver style knife. The blade has a gently curved belly in the middle. The knife comes with a spine taper with 3.0mm at the heel, 2.9mm at the middle and 2.8mm at the front. The blade is very stiff and there is no noticeable flex during use. The knife weight is around 390 grams. It is quite heavy but thanks to the knife's ergonomics and design it will still feel comfortable. However, if used in the air and off the cutting board, you will notice the weight of 390 grams. The balance point of this knife is at the front. If you pinch grip at the blade or the curved cap, the knife will be front heavy, which you want for a cleaver style knife. The handle is made with red sandalwood with a hidden wired filled tang handle. It means that the handle is nicely secured in its place. The handle's curves are very comfortable and it won't be slippery since the wooden handle adds enough grip. They have added a rounded neck area so you can shift your gripping style without discomfort if you want more control and precise cutting work. The knife has a unique manufacturing process to reduce cost. Despite the unique manufacturing process, they did not reduce the quality. The fit and finish on this knife are very nicely done and the handle is from a good quality. They have thought about polishing the spine and the heel area so there are no sharp edges. Denja as a knife manufacturer has my recommendation. The weight of 390 grams is heavy on paper, but it feels lighter because of the excellent ergonomics from the handle and blade design. The profile tapering is also very nicely done and very thin. The knife is highly catered to the home cooks that seek sharper performance from a Chinese vegetable cleaver. 
that's it for this video. If you have any questions or other opinions, leave them in the comment section below. If I helped you decide, please give this video a thumbs up since that will help the channel a lot. If you want to know more about cooking and knives, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.